Mayor, much of the coastal bend saw several inches of rain today. That includes the Oso Creek area that's prone to flooding. Our Seth Kovar joins us now live on the Staples Street Bridge over the creek. So Seth, what's the situation there right now? We are still in the flood zone, believe it or not, with 22 feet of water down there. It looks like it'll be eight tomorrow morning when we finally get out of flood stage. The water is kind of hard to see here in the dark. So let's go ahead and show you some video that we recorded earlier today. Oso Creek spent hours in the moderate flood zone today and it remains there tonight. That starts when water is 20 feet deep and becomes major flooding at 25 feet. It would never reach that point, above which water can start getting into yards and even homes along the creek. The water level topped out at just over 23 feet around 415 this afternoon. It should steadily go down to its normal level of just around 7 feet. We don't have any reports of Oso Creek water getting into homes, which is good news. Some people who are just out exercising on Oso Parkway, which runs along the creek, have different levels of concern about flooding. I think you have to use a lot of common sense. If you don't have the right kind of vehicle, uh, it's better to stay home. I've been here five years, and we really haven't had significant flooding during that time, but not to say that it can't happen. Well, that trash down there shows just how swiftly the water is running, so keep that in mind when you're thinking about using this creek in any way. You might not want to do that until this all dies down. Reporting live in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News. Okay, Seth, thank you. Reporting live tonight.